Welcome to Statics. In this problem, we've been asked to find uh, basically the reactions that are occurring at pin A and pin B. Um, and so we're going to get started by drawing a free body diagram of this system. So we have one element which is doing something like this. That's element AB. And then we have a second element here, which is uh, element BC. So these are just uh, two pieces. There's a pin there at C. So this is an overall free body diagram of the whole system. And so uh, we are going to expect uh, a reaction there and a reaction there because it's a pin. No moment because it's a pin. We're expecting a reaction here and a reaction, a horizontal reaction as well. And again, no moment because it's a pin. Um, Certainly things are going to be going on at the pin at C here, but those are internal and I'm focusing on an external um, a free body diagram of the whole system. So then the other thing we can do uh, is we can reduce this distributed load, load to a single load, and so we do that by taking 4 kilonewtons per meter and multiplying by the length, which is 4 meters, so that will be uh, 16 kilonewtons, and that's where that comes from. And so um, I think it's always good to go for the, the sort of things that are easy to do at first. And so what I'm noticing on this free body diagram here is that if I were to take the moment here at this point A, right, that AX, AY, and BX are all going through it. And so I'm going to be able to get BY by summing the moments at A. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that as my first step. So here I go, I'm summing the moments at A, and I'm setting them equal to zero. And what I will get is that I will get a positive moment from BY. BY, uh, the distance BY is uh, from A is three meters. And then um, I have another positive 16 kilonewtons times two. That is the perpendicular distance um, of that load, and that is equal to zero, and therefore if we solve for by, we are going to get that by is equal to uh, 10.7, and um, that it's negative or pointing down. And you can see, uh, so that is uh, what we found for by. And now having done that, um, we can take another look at the big system here. So there, are, I, what I notice is there's only two elements that have a Y component. And so I think it's worthwhile um, to sum the forces in the Y direction and set them equal to zero for the whole system. And um, AY plus BY is equal to zero. Of course, BY was negative 10.7, therefore AY is equal to 10.7 kilonewtons uh, upward, and this was units of kilonewtons as well. So we're doing pretty well. We've solved for two things already, and it hasn't taken much effort. Okay, so now in order to get BX, um, well, let's just kind of observe that if we, for the whole system, if we sum the forces in the x direction and set them equal to zero, what we see is that AX plus BX minus 16 is 0. So we need either AX or BX. And to do that, we're going to need to take apart this um, frame and do a little bit of analysis. So what I propose doing is, and I'm going to put a circle around it um, in red, so I propose we, we have a look at this member and um, just kind of pull it apart and draw a free body diagram of it. So let's do that over here. So this is member um, BC. So member BC uh, is going to look like this. We know we have these reactions BY. We, and we know that actually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw it the way it is. Let me erase that. So since we found that BY was pointing down, let's just draw it that way. So we have 10.7 
kilonewtons pulling down and we have our unknown Vx. We have this load of 16 kilonewtons. And then up here at C, this, these are now internal forces, um, so we postulate that this is going to probably be doing that. Uh, that would be CY, and um, <clears throat> likewise, there's going to be a, a CX. I think CX is going to be going that way. Let's draw it in like that. So now, what I'm going to be doing is doing some work uh, based upon free body diagram BC. And remember, it's really important to tell um, whoever's trying to follow your work what you're doing so that they can um, follow along. <coughs> So let's just put a big circle around this so we're all looking at the same thing. So we observe a few things. Uh, we can, um, uh, we could, you know, figure out CY if we wanted to, but we don't really need to. What we really want is to figure out BX. So I propose that we sum the moments at C and set them equal to zero. So let's go ahead and do that. Y at C? Well, because it's going to give me BX, and you'll see why in a second. So here I am thinking, I'm up here at C, I'm thinking about what kind of rotation this 16 kilonewton force will cause, and um, it is a distance of 2 away, so that's 2. So that looks like a negative um, moment to me, so we would have negative 16 times 2, which is the distance. That's what the load um, of, of this of this uh, vert, uh, horizontal forces. And then the other thing we have is we, we're going to have a positive moment from Bx. So we'll have Bx times 4. This 10.7 Newton force goes through our point, and so does Cx and Cy. So that's all we've got. And therefore, we can find Bx directly. Uh, and we see that Bx will equal 8 kilonewtons. And so now we're almost done. We look back to this equation uh, and we see that if Bx is 8, then Ax is, is, is also going to be 8. Um, and so we are basically done with this problem. So in summary, Ax equals Bx equals 8 kilonewtons. Um, they are both um, moving um, in the positive x direction. Uh, By was 10.7 down. AY was 10.7 up, and that's it.